iOS 12 beta 6 is here guys. And in this video, I'd like to cover all of the extensive changes Apple has implemented with both beta 6 and iOS 12 beta 5 all in one video. As I did miss beta 5 due to some very, very slow internet speeds on the island of Tassos in Greece. So I wasn't able to cover that, but I'd like to cover all of them together in this video. So Apple's actually switched to a different uh, release schedule. We're getting a release every one week now as uh, it's only been a week since beta 5 has been released, which is nice because that way Apple will be able to like, you know, patch all of these smaller issues here and there before the final release. And uh, this is it, the actual update itself. Apple gave an extensive list also of a bunch of bugs that are still available and what they did patch in beta five. And actually before updating, I had 176 gigabytes available after 176.65. So it did get just a little bit storage cleared. And the biggest thing you'll notice right away in iOS 12 beta six, as soon as you start using it, is the huge speed difference on devices like the iPhone 6S. Apps load instantly now. And uh, that would be my kit and just got a new one. I'm sorry guys, distraction, but I just got this guy and he's really making working hard for me with the meowing, he's really tired right now. I still haven't named him, leave a name down below that you'd like me to uh, try on, but he looks kind of like a fox, like a little wolf almost. All right, back to the video. So on the iPhone 6S in particular, many users have found that the speed differences are huge. Your phone feels amazing. All of the apps that are not open in the app switcher will load almost instantaneously. And this is more like the speeds that Apple has promised with iOS 12 at their actual keynotes, where apps actually launch right away. It is so quick, especially on an older device. And with beta six on the left here, you'll notice that the clock application now has a bolder minute and hour hand, as well as the second hand being changed to a slightly darker hue of orange. On the lock screen music player, you'll notice that the actual AirPlay streaming icon now looks a little bit different, a little bit bolder, and a different shade of blue. So easier to distinguish from the actual player. Now on the lock screen in the landscape view, when opening up a notification in the 3D touch view, the little X to clear the notification is now on the right instead of on top, thus giving you more space for your content. And in the books application, there's a new isometric looking splash screen just like this, introducing you to the privacy setting in books. Oh man, and Apple just keeps disappointing with the wallpapers on iOS 12. So if we go into stills here, they've removed another wallpaper. So this would be the iOS 10 one, the waves, very similar to the iOS 11 one. So I kind of see why they would want to remove it, but still, why remove wallpapers, just keep them. They've also reorganized all the other ones. So kind of got the more black ones down here, aside from the planets up top now. And inside the home application, this wallpaper no longer exists. There's three new ones here. There's a yellow, a blue, and a green gradient. Very nice looking, so I'm gonna change mine to the blue. And when we go back to the home application, it's got this very nice clean gradient. And in the messages application, there's a couple changes here. First off, clicking on the camera icon on the top left, you now have an awkwardly placed all photos button, which activates this photos part of the application. Also notice this behavior, it's changed. So if we jump into the thread right here, and then we go to the camera, then click done, the keyboard no longer stays open. It collapses after finishing with the camera. And in the effects camera, jumping into shapes, if I slide this all the way up, you'll notice there are an additional two new shapes here. And when actually clicking on a shape now, it has a smaller starting position. Also within the photos camera, you can now use the actual volume button to take a picture. Previously it would change the volume. Now it actually snaps a picture, just like the original camera app does. And you'll notice a couple new splash screens. So opening up the app store again in beta six brings up this splash screen screen and there's a new one in the music application that looks just like this that explains the new features. And that's it for beta six guys. So there are a bunch of new features in beta five that I didn't get a chance to cover that I also wanna show you in this video. And I'm gonna start with the battery life. I was overseas and I was actually getting kind of annoyed with how fast my iPhone 10 was draining. And after updating to beta five, I noticed a huge improvement in actual battery life. My phone lasted longer. It didn't have that empty drain. That would just happen in my pocket with the screen off. So the battery definitely lasted much longer. I'd say it gave me an additional hour of usage throughout the day. And there's a slightly different animation when clicking the passcode bubbles. So it's not as uh, drawn out, it's more abrupt. You'll notice that definitely there. When an alarm is going off, you'll have slightly redesigned snooze and stop buttons. So it looks like the snooze button is easier to click and the stop button has gotten a little larger as well. And when you have an upcoming calendar event, Siri can now suggest that you set an early alarm just so you make it in time for that event. On the home screen, if I 3D touch on any app icon, you'll notice that the icon gradient is now darker. So it no longer is as see-through 
it's actually easier to read the text now. And in a similar vein, look at the control center boxes here. They are darker now on beta 6, easier to distinguish from the background. And it looks like the wallpaper gradient is now gone in beta 6, so iOS once again no longer places a shadow over your wallpapers. If you have no apps open and you try and go into the app switcher, the vibration is so much more subtle now. You can barely feel it, but it certainly is there. And in the widgets, the widget for stocks is more compact, so you can read a lot more data you know, on the same screen here instead of having to scroll. And the face ID animation now no longer has a face in it, so when you try and go, no longer has a little smiley in the middle. And in photos, there is once again a new splash screen. When editing a photo in the markup tool, there's now a really cool reminder of what your opacity is set at when using a pen tool here. So as you can see, it says 0.80 right there. You can click on it to go ahead and change it. And if you do change the value, it'll show up on any of the tools. Very neat. I always thought that this part looked very un-Apple-like. So Apple has added new icons here in the albums, the media types. So all of the categories have new icons next to them. And there is a new icon for the copy iCloud link. I do not have that one, so I can't really share. I also noticed this within the share sheet. If you deselect the item that was selected, it grays out all of the options here. So kind of neat. There's a new section for search by lyrics within the search page of the music application. And the actual search bar is a little bit more descriptive now. Instead of just saying Apple Music, it also gives you some suggestions now for artists, songs, lyrics, and more searches. And one that's really annoying, it's been around for a very long time, when you'd click pause, the actual shadow HUD isn't perfectly aligned with the pause icon there. So very easy to tell. Now that has been aligned and the pause icon is perfectly balanced within that circle. For whatever reason, I wasn't getting emoji suggestions in iOS 12 beta 5. Now I am in beta 6 and it will show you new emojis for any topic. So I might as well put in cat here. Previously it didn't show me for whatever reason, now it does. And the new battery health section has gone out of beta, nothing different inside of it, just no longer a beta tag. Also scrolling down here to the descriptions for uh, your usage, the actual text below the main title is now gray and slightly larger. And with reduced transparency enabled, now when you go to your cover sheet and slide down, it'll actually match the color of the dock shading as well as the shading of the folders. So a little bit more uniform there, not as jarring to go to a white background there. Jumping into the cellular settings, here system services previously was on the top, now it's actually filtered by the amount of storage it takes in the actual results. In the news application, the icons on the bottom now have been updated from this look to a much more rounded off look, more uniform. In the podcast settings, remote controls has been renamed to external controls and now has two options. And in Safari, not only will it suggest certain passcodes when the prompt comes up, you'll also get suggestions for usernames as well. And listen to this, there are some new tones for FaceTime when picking up a call. Just like that, sounds a lot like the air power wireless charge sound. And if I hang up on the other line, listen to this. Very, very cool. And certain FaceTime passes that support NFC will have this little icon on the bottom right now with a little NFC logo. And this user got a suggestion in Siri suggestions after copying a Google Maps link to call the number of the place where he was copying the link from. So very neat to have that right at your fingertips. And embedded in the code of iOS 12 beta 5, developer Rambo found this icon. So it shows the new wireless charging case for the AirPods. So that means when you connect it, you're gonna get the new and updated icon with the little tiny LED here in the middle. Of course, this has not been released yet, so that's likely to come with the new iPhones. And also he's found some glyphs of the new iPhone 10 Plus, and it's funny that this guy leaks the same way just like the iPhone 10 did last year. This is definitely a larger device and it differs from the regular 5.8 inch just like that, so definitely a larger device. And he found a glyph for the new iPad Pro as well inside. So lots of little hidden secrets here within iOS 12 beta 5. So there are all the new features in iOS 12 beta 6 and beta 5. Again, I'm sorry that I was so late to uh, post about those, I just couldn't. And from here on out, you'll have updated info on time. Now, of course, the speed is so much better here, especially on older devices. I haven't noticed really much of a difference, but apps do seem to load a little bit faster. So this should make the new and updated speed test a little bit better. Also, all those small little refinements everywhere are very nice. It's the battery life that I absolutely love about the new and recent iOS 12 betas. So of course, a Geekbench is a must here. Let's see what kind of numbers we're getting. Last in beta 4, I was getting pretty low ones. So these should be, I think, a little bit better. And we're actually getting so close here to the release. So we should be seeing a final release in the first half of September. That's the rumored release date of the new iPhones. And this should follow it, of course, right away after the 
event. I'm very excited for the final product to be out, the refinement, but I've been running the latest betas and they've been pretty okay. I was confident enough to even go traveling with them. So beta six certainly brings a lot of refinement, especially in the app launching. Uh, pretty much the same scores here from beta four even. You will notice that apps do tend to launch a little bit faster now in beta six, especially on the iPhone 6s. That was a huge difference. Apps that aren't open up in the background actually open up so quick and stay open for longer seemingly. I also have this very weird glitch that if I lock my iPhone while I'm in a folder, I get this animation whenever I unlock the iPhone again. So I wish Apple fixed that, but otherwise there it is, iOS 12 beta six. Very great update, definitely would recommend it. Stay tuned for future ones now, should be every week or so.